Hey guys, Desh here. Today I'm gonna go over how to make this easy DIY Cyberpunk 2077 cosplay for the casual player. If you're also interested in more Cyberpunk updates, you could check out our website, news.justlootit.com, for more Cyberpunk news and other news on your favorite RPGs. Now, I'm sure you guys are insanely hyped for Cyberpunk to come out. It is so close at this point, and so am I. So I thought in the spirit of getting hyped for Cyberpunk and Plus, since I'm going to be streaming it, I thought, why not do a little cosplay and hopefully, you know, create an easy DIY Cyberpunk 2077 cosplay for the casual player. And we're going to get this look for under $60. First, I'm gonna go over what you need and then how to make it. You will need a neon light strip, this double side adhesive super strong tape, and a power supply. Don't worry, I'm gonna link everything in the description below. And of course, the thing you need to start this project, um, you can go to like a thrift store and get a cheap jacket or find one on Amazon. I found this one at Forever 21 um, for like, I think it was like $12 maybe. Um, it's just like a, it looks like just a normal jacket, but we're gonna turn it into something awesome. Now, as far as the really unique look that the cyberpunk jacket has i decided to grab this off amazon as well it's like literally like a bucket hat i mean as you can see like this is what it was uh designed <laughs> or intended for but um we're actually going to use this i'm going to go over this with you in more detail in just a sec but we're actually gonna use this inside the jacket to lift up and uh, make it do uh, what that cyberpunk uh, you know, jacket is known for and put the lights in here. And it's gonna look hopefully pretty awesome when we're done. We'll start by folding the bucket hat in half. Make sure to cut down the middle towards the center and along the seam, about halfway. Next, we'll attach the hat to the jacket. The rim of the bucket hat is stiff, making it perfect for the cyberpunk collar that sticks upright. Even this early, you can see how we'll use the stiffness of the hat to create the shape. Next, we'll clean up this frayed end and attach the hat to the jacket to create the signature cyberpunk collar. Cut a strip of adhesive tape and press it down firmly. Remove the film and fold over the fabric nice and tight to hide the frayed end and make a nice clean edge. Line up the rim of the hat with the top of the jacket. Use the seam as a guide. Work in sections. Use small strips that won't get tangled. Make sure to press down on the adhesive firmly as you go so it sticks to the jacket. Remove the film from the adhesive one piece at a time, pulling it towards you. Slowly attach the hat as you go. Once attached, the hat will look like the Cyberpunk signature collar. Next, we'll begin attaching the LED light strip. Remember to use small strips of tape. Work top to bottom, one row at a time. Leave about a half inch gap at the top. When attaching the adhesive, use stitching or a seam as a guide to help keep yourself in a straight line. Remove the film one section at a time. Slowly attach the LED strip to the adhesive tape as you go. Take your time. Press the strip tightly against the tape to make sure it stays in place. Once you reach the end, make a loop to turn the strip around. Make sure the strip is right side up. Use a twist tie to hold the loop in place. This will also keep the strip from twisting onto the wrong side. I used the twist ties that came with the power supply, but you can also find these on Amazon and linked in the description below. Repeat these steps to add several rows of LED to the collar, snaking back and forth each time. If the film from the adhesive is giving you trouble, try using tweezers. I found this much easier when pulling it off. 
Be sure to slowly pull the strip tighter as you attach it to the tape. This will make the loops we made smaller. Now, don't worry about any bubbles or imperfections. The LED strip is super bright and with it on, you won't be able to tell. As you work, remember to always press everything down firmly to make sure it sticks. This will help hold things securely. And here we have four rows done so far, but I'm going to do one more. And here's how it looks with five rows. It's gonna be lit! Now, I used the excess LED strip and added some to the inside of the jacket. I followed along the zipper down one side. And if you have enough left, you can go crazy and add some around the bottom or up the other side of the jacket. It's really up to you. Don't forget to tighten the twist ties one last time to ensure the LED strip stays in place. Now you could try it on and make sure you have enough rows of the LED strip for your collar. And once you're satisfied with it, you can light it up. Congrats, you've got your very own cyberpunk style jacket for just under $60. I'm also gonna go over some makeup to match for the cyberpunk DIY look. All right, so I'm not a beauty expert or anything, but I figured I'd give a quick tutorial on how to do a simple trick to get a cyberpunk look using only gel eyeliner. Using an angled brush, slowly create your shape by starting under the eye and working your way down your cheek. Take your time. You can always go over the lines to make them thicker or darker. And we're done. And that's it guys, hopefully not too bad. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that bell to be notified for more videos, as well as the written guide where I explain in more detail how to create this DIY cosplay, along with pictures, tips, and more. And once again, for more cyberpunk updates and news, along with your favorite other RPGs, check out news.justlooted.com, also linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.